Have you ever struggled with confidence and completing a task or taking on some activity or even a new career? Hello, I'm Coach Lance Meyer of Grass Ministries, a partner ministry with a city for God, and it's time for Wisdom Walks. So today's Wisdom Walk is entitled, You Can Do It. And, uh, you know, I uh, tend to be a fairly confident person, and yet uh, I too struggle with being sure and being confident that I can complete a task or, uh, you know, as I real talk, get transitioned from doing a lot of education, urban ministry, um, still doing that, but in a different, different format, but really transitioning into my art and art career uh, and using art as a ministry, uh, that can be pretty daunting. And yet, I uh, have good news for you today, guys. The confidence that we have is not in ourselves. It's not even a, yeah, you can do it attitude. Uh, those things can matter, but really, it's already done. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 says this, For our benefit, God made Christ to be wisdom itself. Christ made us right with God. He made us pure and holy, and he freed us from sin. We can have 100% confidence in that today. And that doesn't mean everything is going to be all easy. And it doesn't mean that uh, life on this earth can't get hard. And it doesn't even mean that we won't have some self-doubt. So I'm going to leave you with three words today uh, to help you in your walk here on this earth as you prepare for eternity in heaven through faith in Jesus. One of them is mentoring, finding a good mentor. Uh, I have been blessed to have Matt Tommy and Paul Knipple and many others that have mentored me in my life. Um, related to art, Matt Tommy's been a big help in just mentoring me and showing me a path uh, along the way. Discipleship is the second word. And that really centers around discipline and sharing your faith and being confident in who you are uh, as a child of God and sharing that in your lives. That obviously takes some discipline, some uh, setting, some uh, parameters and planning uh, in your life. That all leads to a solid discipline and discipleship. And then finally, accountability. You know, we often think of accountability as being something bad, right? But really, accountability is one of the greatest things because it uh, actually keeps us on the path and it allows others to encourage us along the way when we uh, do well and when, we, when we're falling short to uh, keep us on the right path. God bless you today as you know that you can do it.